Hi guys! So on Monday, me and Duncan decided that we're going to start Banana Island, and we've committed to doing Banana Island for about a week. Um, basically, on the 11th, we're going to be flying to Penang, Malaysia for our border run, and we decided that we're going to do Banana Island from Monday until we go to Penang. So I had a friend ask me why would I want to be on Banana Island while I'm in Thailand with so many amazing fruits around me. And I thought that was a good question and I decided to do a video on it because there are a lot of reasons why I want to do Banana Island while I'm here and it just seemed like too much to try to type out. It would have been like five or six comments on YouTube because you can only type so many words into the field before it cuts you off. So I thought I'd just do a video because it would be easier. Um, now for starters, me and Duncan, we are going to be in Thailand for another two and a half months. So a week on bananas is just a short period of time within the frame. So it's not a big deal. We have plenty more time to eat lots of amazing fruits. And we've had, you know, we've already been here for a month and a half eating lots of amazing fruits. And, you know, the bananas here taste wonderful. Like, they're the best bananas I've ever had in my entire life. Um, back home, bananas were definitely not my favorite fruit. I ate them almost daily because they're cheap and they're a great calorie source. But I didn't really actually, um, didn't look forward to my banana meals. I just would keep eating them. I mean, they tasted good. They're just definitely not my favorite fruit. But here, they're actually one of the best tasting things. Um, as, as many wonderful, amazing fruits there are, like, the bananas just taste so good, and there's so much variety of bananas here. There's, like, you go to the market, and they've just got probably a dozen different types of bananas that you can buy, that being on Banana Island here is almost, it's almost like cheating, because there's different flavors you can get in the bananas, that it won't really feel like I'm eating the same thing every single day. And I've always wanted to do Banana Island. Um, it's something that was a challenging idea for me, which I think I've actually talked about on here before. Um, and it really I think the hardest part about it was just that I didn't actually love bananas so the longest I could ever do is about a day and then I just want to eat something else but um, I really think I am actually ready for it now and I'm honestly like really looking forward to it and really excited um, to start it so yeah um, one of the other major 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 things about starting Banana Island here is we've actually been finding a lot of maggots in our fruit here lately and um, we've kind of realized what the problem is and it's that we've been leaving our fruit out on the balcony to ripen properly and um, we've had a lot of flies around the fruit and it seems like the flies have been laying their eggs in them so we did start bringing our fruit inside and letting it ripen inside away from the flies and that got rid of the problem but even though we're not getting maggots in the fruit anymore, it's kind of turned us off on a lot of them because, you know, we were opening up mangoes and finding maggots in them. We were opening up custard apples and finding maggots in them. I had lychees. They had maggots in them. We had canistel. There were maggots in them. And it's just, even though we figured out how to not find maggots in our food, it just kind of turned you off of them for a while. I mean, I still want to eat these fruits um, moving forward in the future, but... You know, it'll be nice to just kind of not have to deal with it for a while. Um, you know, the bananas are really safe, no maggots in the bananas, so, you know, it'll just be a nice break from bugs in your food, um, which is kind of gross, but that's just what's been happening. So definitely, if you're in Thailand, um, if you see a lot of flies around the fruit in the market, pick the fruit that doesn't have maybe so many flies. Ants are okay, ants are great. It's probably organic if it's got ants around it, but um, we've definitely learned that a lot of flies around the fruit means that they're laying eggs. So, yeah. <laughs> um, another big thing for me is it'll just really be nice to not have to think about food for a while. And that's on a lot of different levels. Um, and one thing, it's just, you know, we do go to the market almost daily for food. And, you know, it just... You eat so much quantity on this diet that it does start to get to be kind of a pain to get the fruit from the market back home with you, um, just because it's such a large amount. And you know, we don't have a car here. Um, you know, we have bikes and we do have a motorbike now, but we can only carry so much on the bike or on the motorbike at one time, and it's usually only enough for a meal or two between the two of us. 
So we still have to go to the market daily. With the bananas, we can probably go to the market every other day or maybe even every third day if we get enough in one haul. And, you know, it doesn't sound like a huge difference, but it's just nice to not have to really worry about your next meal and not have to, you know, keep stocking up with the fruit. Um, Cause you know, back home we used to get wholesale delivery and we could get our supermarket to deliver, like the supermarket to deliver fruit to us. And you know, it's just a lot easier to keep a lot of fruit in the house when you, you know, you speak the language of the country you're in. Cause you could probably get things delivered here as well. It's just, you know, we don't speak Thai and you know, it's just a little bit harder. I mean, it's not really actually hard. There's plenty of fruit to be found in Thailand and it's readily available and you can almost always buy something ripe. Well, you can always buy something ripe to eat here. It's just, it'll, it'll be nice not to have to think about food. I also, like, I definitely deal with food, cooked food cravings um, on a fairly regular basis. So to just eat bananas and not have to think about my next meal and not try to think about what I want to eat for my next meal will really, will be a really nice break. Um, you know, another thing is, is it's really hot here. And when I say it's really hot, it's about 100 degrees every day. It's very humid and the heat has made me have a harder time eating enough calories. So because I've not been eating enough calories, I think Banana Island will be really good since bananas are nice and calorie dense. And if I'm eating them for every meal for an extended period of time, I think that'll really help me get used to holding in more calories in this heat because I'm definitely, it's not just like, oh, well maybe you don't need to eat so many calories. Like, no, like sometimes I don't feel like I have enough energy, so I definitely need to be eating more calories, but I literally have a hard time eating enough fruit because I just feel full so quickly. And I, I'm sure it's the heat because I've spoken to other people here and they've said the same thing. So, you know, that'll be nice. And then also with the whole calories thing is a lot of the fruits here that taste amazing don't have a lot of calories in them. Mango steam, light cheese, rambutan, passion fruit, like delicious, 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 amazing. Trying to make a meal out of it, really time consuming and kind of a pain in the butt. I love eating them, but I definitely, I don't know, I think it's kind of been detrimental to me to try to make meals out of them because I kind of, A, I start to feel full when I haven't actually eaten a lot of calories because my stomach is just full of a lot of food but not a lot of calories. And B, it's just, you know, you crack open so many mango seeds, you crack open so many lychees, and you just kind of get tired of it, and you're just like, where's the calories? Um, and I won't have to worry about that on bananas. So, you know, it's just, it's nice. The other thing is, is with the tropical fruits, they're amazing, they taste amazing, but at the end of the day, it's not really what I'm used to eating. And sometimes, like, you know, you know, my friends are starting to post the summer fruits, like peaches are coming into season and blueberries and strawberries. And, like, I, I even miss apples because I used to make a really good apple porridge back home. And it's just there's things that I used to make back home that have become comfort foods for me that here everything is kind of, like, new and exotic or... Maybe I've had it before, but I've only had it once or twice because it was kind of expensive and hard to find back home. So even though it's really good, like, it's not what I'm used to eating, that I still find myself craving other fruits that I can't get here because what you guys consider really common, like, yeah, I can buy an apple here if I really wanted to make apple porridge, but the apples here are, like, really expensive. And honestly, like, we can't really afford them because, you know, neither of us are working here. Um... You know, we're here for, we, total, to, in total time, we're going to be here for four months. Um, so, you know, we do have to still watch how much we spend. Like, we're very conscious of how much we spend. And, you know, the tropical fruits are what's cheapest and what we can afford, which is awesome. But at the end of the day, sometimes I just miss what I'm used to. Um, and the bananas, bananas are dirt cheap. So being on Banana Island will be, like, a nice way to save money for a week and, That'll be nice because we can afford lots and lots of massages during that time because it'll fit into our weekly budget to get more massages when we're eating a lot of bananas. Um, yeah, so I think those were most of the reasons why I wanted to do Banana Island. Um, I mean, obviously, there's just like the main reasons to do it, which is clear up digestion and, you know, just to 
I don't know, not focusing on food is really a big thing for me. Like being able to just know that my next meal is bananas is huge. Because I think I do spend a lot of time thinking about, you know, food. It doesn't even have to be cooked food all the time. Like sometimes it is just me thinking about fruit. But I do spend a lot of time thinking about what I'm going to eat next. And I think it'll be nice to just be able to focus on other things. Because Thailand's amazing. Like it's not just about fruit. Like we didn't come here just for the fruit. We came here for the weather. We came here for the community. Because there's a lot of other like-minded people who um, are here in Chiang Mai. And, you know, we came here to just kind of get a break and to relax and, you know, get sunshine and just not have to deal with the stress of daily life. Um, yeah, so even though coming here for fruit was definitely a major part of our decision to be here for four months, it wasn't the only reason we came here. And I think I can do a lot of healing and growing um, on Banana Island. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to my week on Banana Island, and I, I will definitely give you guys updates when I'm done with it, alright? Have a great week, and if anybody wants to join on Banana Island, let me know. Bye, guys.